after many months of travel, a band of intrepid adventurers have found a new land of snow and ice and frozen lakes and more snow and more ice. Seven brave souls will make a Nordic kingdom. They will adventure. They will conquer. They will fall down holes as well. What? Okay. Six intrepid adventurers will build a new... Cu- oh, there's another one. Wow. Are we actually down to five now? I think we're down to five people. Five people. Okay, here we go. Five intrepid adventurers will set up a Nordic kingdom safe from their previous life with sunshine and trees and flowers. They prefer it here. It's colder. There might be things like polar bears, which you have to watch out for. Dude, can we just... We've just lost another one. Okay, right. We're down to four people. Three people. That was a drowned. Three intrepid adventurers will battle snow and ice and fall down another hole. Lava! There's no lava here! Okay. Two intrepid adventurers, stalked by a drowned, will set up and build a new kingdom, a Nordic kingdom, in the north. Where there's snow, there's ice, there's a howling wind. But they are now safe. Just two left. They will manage. They will cope. Laying down chests, crafting benches. At- oh. Ah, so it's just me then. <laughs> Welcome! Andy's already here. Bit of a time lapse. We're building a Nordic kingdom. People who were Nordic from the north, the top of Scandinavia, the top of Europe, they were a hardy bunch. And when they weren't falling down holes and getting eaten by polar bears, they decided to set up communities where it was pretty cold and sometimes quite dark. We are building Nordic style. Welcome to my server. It is play.usetheblocks.net if you want to come on Warp Nordic, if you want to see our kingdom. We're going to be building this over the next few episodes. I don't know how many episodes we'll do, probably around about 10. Uh, but I am building this on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Azura. So I would love to have your company. Let's have a look around the first house. Okay, here is the first house. I mean, we've built a lot more, but I'm going to show you one house at a time and then time lapse it and then one house at a time and time lapse it again. So this is a pretty cool house. This is kind of the style we are going for with these huge roofs using some glass as icicles. Um, this roof a little bit damaged actually. Maybe this is because it's the first house. We've got a bit of a chimney back here as well. Hopefully this is going to give you guys some inspiration if you want to build in this kind of ice spikes biome. What a beautiful place to build. And inside we've got some kind of just a rudimentary little um, crafting benches and so on. A little place to sleep up here. So big shout out and thank you to everyone who helped build this. Uh, my patrons are helping me build this. So that is house number one complete. Right now we're going to go on to a blacksmith. And the blacksmith is going to be next door. So we need to get rid of a few of these ice spikes. But later on, we're actually going to be incorporating some of these ice spikes actually into our builds. We've got a watchtower and we've got kind of an ice house of storing kind of meat and so on. What do you think of my little forge in the corner there? Kind of cool, huh? I, li I like that design for a forge. Okay, uh, so this is going to be the blacksmith. We've got quenching buckets, we've got anvils, as I said, the forge in the corner, and we've got, um, again, a very, very tall roof going up by a stair, an upside down stair, a block, and then repeating on up. Uh, we decided to have kind of platforms keep you off the cold snow. So lots of platforms and raised walkways around most of our builds. Dormer windows, a little bit of trim in spruce. And a bit of detail inside and out. Shout out to Tronity for doing the detail on the inside of this blacksmith's. Um, we've got some really fancy roof work on the edges. We're bringing some nice uh, trap doors around the place. Adding in lanterns and putting in a nice wood store underneath the blacksmith. So let's have a little first person look around our second build of our kingdom. And here it is. So to get to this place, you would kind of walk, maybe just get rid of that one, walk past here to get to the blacksmith. So it's got a couple of sort of rooms down there, rooms above, plenty of icicles still hanging down, nothing much on the back of it here, kind of quite plain. There's a basement as well, and then wrapping round to the furnace here. 
and as you can see inside there it is kind of toasty and it's even a kind of a working chimney as well with a campfire up there so this is where you would uh, forge your tools and then hammer them on your anvil there maybe just do something like that you stand up there and you'd hammer them and then to kind of put them in there again underneath here we had tronity <laughs> tronity make this room better style he says thank you so much coal iron trinkets all sorts of things making this place look really really cool indeed so we've got a basement and then inside here we've put um a little bit more furniture no no furniture in here but we do have some stairs up so we've got one or two rooms still to furnish but this place is kind of huge and then through here we've got somewhere where all the iron blocks would be stored and you can kind of lift them up on this here and then really really fancy at the end here very decorative really really cool indeed love that kind of aspect so there we go and a little porch here made of extinguished campfires with plenty of these beautiful icicles hanging down okay two builds down and we're on to another house and shout out to Mindmaster for doing this kind of dock area here <clears throat> now um who designed this house again was it marshmallow mate was it Mindmaster? one of those guys i think it may be no it was blobman blobman designed this house and blobman designed the first house as well so shout out to blobman i should have mentioned you before he's one of the patrons on my server and he's helping us build this project mine master's doing the dock the dock is looking absolutely fantastic such an atmospheric place to build yeah blobman did the house number one and he also did house number uh, two here and i designed the blacksmith at the back so this second house we thought what sort of person would be living here? They've got lots of floors. Then maybe they're quite rich. We decided to make this the pumpkin and the melon <laughs> grower and seller. So this person is going to be growing and selling pumpkins. We might give them a few more jobs and a few more things to grow as well as this place develops. Mine master doing a fantastic job with the docks, just circling it round. By the way, I'm using the 5x5 five five building system. The Andes are the 5x5 five five building system for pretty much all of this build apart from things like paths and the docks which can divert away from the 5x5 five five building system every kind of upright has is three blocks away from the next upright and every additional room gets added on in a little 5x5 five five grid so yeah pumpkin patches melon patches um fancy roofs this person obviously makes a bit of money out of keeping everybody fed on mumpkins and pelons. So let's have a look. It's over here. We've got little uh, walls here, which are kind of protecting the, the melons and pumpkins from too much kind of wind. We've also got a really cute upturned cart here. Something's gone really badly wrong. Isn't this clever? Who, who did this again? I can't remember who did this. We'll find out later on. Really nice. Got these big ice spikes. I'm not sure what to build in this ice spikes area here. So maybe something we'll come to. Who's got suggestions in the chat for episode two about what we could do here? Maybe we need more um, melons and pumpkins. Anyway, the house itself, designed by Blobman, really nicely sits next to our dock area. Little boats <laughs> sitting there. That's very, very cute little detail. Again, we've got the paths kind of coming around and then underneath plenty of storage as well. But you get into this place round about here. We could maybe do with some, some sort of way of getting down. Do we have any stairs here? Yeah, I think we need some sort of back stair unit here. That could be something that's added on. The overall design, we've got this kind of big floor up here, a middle floor and a bottom floor, and also, very sneakily, I think, a basement as well. So let's have a look in here. Tronti has made this room a better style again. Cobwebs, armor, all your precious equipment is stored down here. What do you think of these extra kind of uh, trap doors on the door? I'm not too sure about it, but um, let's have a look inside. So some of the rooms in here are still to be decorated. That's okay as well. And then up onto the upper levels, again, we've got these really cute balconies everywhere and kind of more space where we could be building and storing things in here. So plenty of room for storage. It's a really, really exciting build, actually. Very cute. Lots of nooks and crannies and little balconies looking don't look over there don't look we've got other things to show you on the time lapse <laughs> coming up right about now let's get the next building built 
So this next thing was one of my inventions, and I think this is really, really fun. If you're building an ice spikes biome, you get these ginormous ice spikes, and you can make it into a tower. How cool is that? I love this. We'll show you a good tour of this. We'll take you up the stairs in just a few seconds time, but whoa, isn't that great? I love it. I love that design. Okay, let's move on to the next build. We decided to put a little teeny weeny hoose around an ice spike and make it kind of a cold storage room, somewhere where you'd store all the cold meats and maybe uh, the animals that you'd captured and slaughtered. That doesn't sound very nice the way I've said it there. But this is kind of a medium sized ice spike and we decided to make this into a little watchtower as well. How cool is that? Right, let's take a little walk around this place and see everything that's been done. So here it is, our ice tower. I'm going to be doing a separate tutorial of this ice tower. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And we've got a little room down here, secret room by Tronity as well. Maybe this is where the guards have a little secret base down here where they could maybe attack your feet if you're climbing up the tower. But if we climb up the tower, it's super simple to build one of these ice towers. All you do is you put these slabs all the way around until you get to the top where it is up here. And then eventually you can climb in through the ice and emerge right at this top level of your ice kingdom biome. Don't look in that direction, that's spoilers, spoilers definitely, we are, are building, we're on to episode 2 already, we're building episode 2 and I can't show you too much detail. We've got a kelp house to build in a minute, but here's the other tower, little kind of medium tower, and here is the clever design for a little ice house, isn't that cool? little house where you would store all the meat to stop it, um, to stop it going bad. And we're using nether quartz or hanging up to imagine big chunks of moose or something or polar bear. I oh, don't eat polar bear. Moose hanging up like that or reindeer as well. Okay, so we have over here a really nice sort of kelp harvesting area. So let's get a kelp house built. Now this kelp house ended up being quite big. So I'm really glad I had a lot of kelp in building it. <laughs> a lot of kelp in it. Oh, never mind. Tronity was the co-designer of this place. We're starting with a very big platform, taking away one of the ice spikes. It's a bit of a shame, but we need a little bit of building space. We've got kind of a, a workshop or a kelp gathering area on the bottom floor. Plenty of space to dry your kelp and pack it up into kind of big cases. Then we've got another floor on top, which would be maybe the main living area. And then of course, as we add a very tall Nordic roof, a roof that would stop too much snow gathering and weighting down and breaking the roof, then we have some more rooms upstairs. So here we've got the kind of kelp sorting and lifting and crane area at the back. And we're going to make a nice channel at the front here where we can bring a little kelp gathering boat in. Crane the kelp up into the processing area and then store it as well. And kelp was used for soap. It was used for food. It was used for medicine. It's a seaweed, which is an absolute uh vital vital part of nordic life and especially in scotland as well they used to gather kelp i think they still gather kelp and make it into all sorts of incredible products of course for some from a survival point of view every form of seaweed especially in europe anyway is edible and each seaweed gets kind of exposed at different levels as the sea goes up and down with the tide it exposes different species of seaweed you can gather them all and they're all Edible, some tasting better than others. Uh, shout out and thank you to Gibby for helping build this and Tronity for helping to design it as well. Using a mixture of spruce, trapdoors, slabs, um, stairs. We've even got ladders and rails around the kelp as well. Lanterns and plenty of white glass hanging down to act as icicles. So I can't wait to show you this house actually in a couple of minutes. It's got some real nice nooks and crannies on the inside. Let me know in the comments what you think we should be adding to this Nordic Kingdom in episode 2 as well. But for now, let's have a look around the amazing, amazing kelp station. Kelp, I really need somebody, kelp, I really need... We've got a little bridge over here, and this is the kelp gathering boat here. And underneath, we put a little kelp storage basement as well, which is kind of... Ooh. There is Tronity, who helped to design this. Looks like we've got a little poopy place there as well. Um, hopefully people don't need any kelp with pooping. And then up here, we've got more kelp storage. We've even got little cute kelp heads as well. A little workbench here, 
So well done to, I think Gibby did the interior. And then this is the crane that would lift the kelp up. Whoa, I fell. Uh, up to the storage area. So it's, doesn't this work really, really well? By the way, don't look behind me. This is a sneak preview from episode episode two. Can you guess what that is? Can you guess what, oh, I don't want to show you. I don't want to show you. Um, anyway, I wanted to... <laughs> This guy gets around. We're going to show you up in here because the crooks and nannies in this place are awesome. Look at this. This is where you live if you're the kelp the kelp harvester guy. If you're the kelp family. Maybe you're the, the lady or the man who is the kelp chief. And then up here is kind of the attic as well. Bit of storage, bit of kind of a, a workroom here and a little balcony where you can look down on your kingdom. Yeah, again, we've got a little space here with the extra ice spikes. The extra ice spike area. What do you think it should have? Another balcony over here. Oh, don't look. Spoilers. That's for episode two. <laughs> and we've got a little bed up here. Maybe this is guest, guest quarters up here. And little dormer windows as well but there we go that is the ice kingdom as we have done it for episode one as i say behind me we've got some stuff for episode two which we have been working on this was definitely done in episode one one as well mind master has built this amazing little place here which is kind of just i don't know kind of maybe the person who controls the docks would live here isn't this beautiful look at that use of the grindstone to come across like that i love that design that is beautiful well done to mine master for building this whole kind of dock area isn't it great links well but i think my favorite from the whole thing is this ice tower i love this tutorial coming up very soon indeed i thought there is a russian youtuber that keeps stealing my tutorial so hopefully he doesn't steal this one as well thank you for watching guys that is my nordic ice kingdom episode one episode two coming very soon indeed because we are at oh, sneak preview we are actually starting it already now, if you'd like to download this kingdom, I will be putting it up very shortly onto my Patreon. And on my Patreon, you can also join my Discord and be building with me on my server. And do hang out with me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Izoda. I'm on there twice a day, 4 p.m., which is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard United States time and midnight UK time, which is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Hope to see you on Twitch. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.